Hi, this is Wes Wog, and I'm going to show you how to create a vertical shoot 'em up type game. Okay, starting off, in vertical shoot 'em ups, there's portrait mode, so we're going to start with portrait mode. Let's ride into the scene. Let's delete that scene first, create a new one. Okay. Here we are into the scene and see its portrait. It's good to go. iPhone landscape, you can change it later to other devices. Um, so, first we'll create an actor and we can name this actor Hero. And we're going to need a few actors actually. Another one named Bullet. And the last one enemy. Okay, so here we have hero, bullet, and enemy, and we're going to go into hero first. Okay, in hero, you are going to create a rule, use key, keyboard right. This is just for with computer controls. If you wanted to do iPhone controls specifically, you could do different things like tilting or tapping left and or right side of the screen. But this one's just going to be for the computer for now. Okay, so keyboard right. And we're going to use move. That's move that way. Speed about 200. That's good. And then just copy this and then paste it. And then go left. And then just switch directions there. Okay. Now we got that down. We have our hero here. Add that in right there. And you can see that the hero moves back and forth. Okay, now in back into our hero actor, we're going to use a timer. Oh there, timer. Every 0.5 seconds it's going to spawn an actor it's going to spawn a bullet you can change the position the direction and everything of the bullet but we're going to just going to move it up so it moves more out of their actor better like at the top of it because it's vertical axis the y axis so here we go 40 40 is good and we need to go into bullet and we're going to change the size and so this will change the size of all bullets that spawn out of the hero so we'll do let's say 15 by 15 we'll see how that turns out refresh okay as you can see it's only the bullets not even moving and it's just spawning the actor so there you go um, Let's go into the bullet and move. And it's going to move up at a 90 degree angle. We'll put it at about 250. So now, whenever we preview the scene, it shoots out of it like that. There we go. Now, we don't want all those bullets just keep going and going and going off. So we're going to create a wall. And this wall is going to be invisible by turning off the visible um, boolean attribute. And we're going to go back to the bullet. Let's go to destroy actor. Oh, actually, no. Create rule. When it overlaps or collides with the wall, then you destroy the actor. Now we'll add the wall in there. Move it back a bit. And there we go. So now it will destroy the bullets as they go out. Okay, now to go into the enemy actor. With the enemy, you can have several different ways of having the enemy get destroyed or or moved or if you want it to shoot or whatever so first we're just gonna have it come move down towards the uh, person the hero actor 
So I'll have it move about 200. And it's going to move down and create overlaps or collides with hero. Now we want to have something happen to the hero. So we're going to go into attributes, create an integer attribute, and health. Health. This is now we're going to set it to 3. And this is the health of the hero actor. Now to display that, we're going to display it, display health, go in there, and then display text, and then in there, health. Now it will display the health. You can change the color of it and all that. We're going to have to change the color of the actor though to the opacity to zero because we don't want the white back there because it won't display the actual health. So there we go. Now we have that and it's three. So now back into the enemy actor. When it overlaps or collides with hero, actually, no. Well, we could do it that way, but we're going to do it within the hero. So we're going to create a rule when it overlaps or collides with enemy it's going to change attribute game health to game health minus one there we go now whenever the enemy runs into you you lose a life so here we go let's make this smaller that one different there we go okay so now when it runs into you you lose a life like right there so now you say you want the bullets to actually hurt the enemies so we're gonna go into enemy create a rule if it overlaps or collides with bullet to destroy this actor Let's preview and see it destroys it wait there it destroys it but the bullets go right through so you want the bullets to explode or just destroy whenever it hits the the um, enemy so we're going to add that if it overlaps or collides with bullet there we go now it destroys the bullet wait we gotta go back in the bullet actor Let's just create a whole separate rule here. There we go. Drag that out. So if it overlaps or collides with enemy to destroy the sector. Okay. There we go. So now it destroys the bullet whenever it collides with it. And so that's the basics of how to create a vertical shoot 'em up game. If you want to move on to the next part, this is just part one of the series of how to create a vertical shoot 'em up game. You can go on to see more advanced type things. This is Wes Hogg signing off. See ya.